What's up, world? It's your boy Nyoa from Nyoa Skills. Y'all know the brand and y'all heard of the name, man. Um, today I was just about to start my training session and then I thought about it. Something is very important that we as strikers tend to overlook. But sometimes we do get a little cocky. <laughs> we do think that, uh, you know, uh, we, we run it and, um, you know, everybody needs us. But um, I, this, this is about humbling ourselves and understanding there, there are other players and other people on the field and on your team that are responsible of you being successful. So you never forget that, okay? Today what I want to talk to you about is about building relationships with the midfielders on your team. I'm talking about from the wingers to the central mid, defensive mid. Those people are very important to you getting the ball, all right? So you, I, I want to talk about building a relationship with them, understanding how to work with them. There are situations, there are times where you know, you're just making a team, you're new onto the team, um, the midfielder doesn't really understand your style of play or he's getting to learn and understand your style of play. Um, you need to work with them. Build that relationship with him or her. Just build that relationship because if you don't, you will not get the ball how you want it. You will not, pro you probably won't even get the ball if you end up pissing them off. Okay? So build a relationship with your midfielders. I'm going to give you an example of some things that I do. Even in the game with a midfielder that I know, I'm in a game, if I make a run and I'm wide open and he misses me, I don't just get crazy and start screaming out, hey, 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 I was open, pass me the ball, what is wrong with you? All the other negative stuff that you scream back and forth at your player, then he probably might scream something back at you and you guys are ending, ending up fighting on the field, having some verbal fight on the field and stuff like that. Cut it out, all right? You know what I do on the field? If I knew I was open and I knew he should have given me that ball, but he took another, he made another decision to give the ball somewhere else or went back or whatever way he decided to play the ball, I wait till the ball goes away or something. When I get a chance, I run up to him. I say, hey, yo, check it out, man. I was wide open on that one. Just, just spot me next time. Trust me, I got that one. Just spot me next time, man. I was open. I'm open on that side all the time. Get me later, all right? Hey, good game, man. Good game. I like the way you run in the field. I like the way you're moving the ball around, man. Hey, spot me real quick, all right? I got one for the team. Something like that, okay? And then, and then I also, too, as you saw, that example that I give you, I also put in there a compliment to his game. Even though I wasn't too happy that he didn't give me the ball, I don't let that show. I let him know, like, yo, get me next time, because I'm going to do it again. Um, another example is if, um, if, if I'm running to, if I, if I want to make a run and I want him to play the ball in front of me because he's not familiar with my style of play and he's trying to learn me and my moves and stuff like that, and he plays the ball behind or he plays the ball to my feet while I want it on the run, it's all good. I run up to him again. I say, yo, check it, check it out. When I'm checking, the defender is playing real close to me. He's playing hard on my back. So all I want you to do is if you see me running up, play the ball around and behind me. I'm going to spin off of him. He's too slow. Put, put me on the run. Put me on the run. He's too slow. He's not going to catch me, all right? I saw what you was trying to do. That was a good pass. But check it out. Next time, I want you to put me on the run. You build that relationship with that midfielder, okay? And the midfielders or whomever else. This way, they understand what you want, okay? They get to play the ball how you want it, and the ball come perfectly to how you want. And always, always, always do not forget this, people, and mostly strikers. I see some strikers where a midfielder will give you a perfect pass, an easy goal, I mean, just something that you can just tap it in. And then you run off celebrating like you just, ah, I just took on the whole field and did that. No. As you see in the professional leagues, right, whether the, um, the striker get a good pass and he finishes a goal where everybody runs up to him, you know what he does? He said, nah, 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 he points to the guy who, who just passed him the ball. He's like, nah, 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 he points to the person who passed him the ball because he know how perfect and how good that pass was, okay? Most midfielders, man, they get their glory from assist. We as strikers, we get our glory from goals. And the entire world look at us and say, yeah, we are, we are the greatest in everything on the field. But without them, we will not be able to do what we do, all right? Build our relationships with your midfielders and um, appreciate them, man. So from one striker to midfielders out there in the world, your boy and your with skills, I appreciate you. Everything that you do, you make us who we are. You give us the ball, all right? So yeah, man. Hey, don't forget, man, subscribe to the to this to the um, newer skills channel on YouTube. Um, also, too, man, we got the clothing line just came out. You already know. This watch, the, the sweaters, the shirts, everything, man, the, the caps. Um, go online and, 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 and cop you one, man. What we're trying to do is take this newer skills movement to another level worldwide. LIP, my Latino homies, que pasa amigo, shout out to my Bosnian brothers, Kako City.